Now, if you listen to the show, we don't talk about it that much, but Peyton lives pretty far away, and you have wild animals all over your property, right? Like peacocks and stuff. Yep, we have peacocks. Yesterday, I was outside in the backyard, and I heard some owls. We have all these egrets. We have chickens in the backyard. So I think like two houses down, it used to be a bird sanctuary, so it's no longer there. So all of the birds are just like wild now, and they just live on everyone's property. They just let the birds go? we just go? deal with it. They just let the birds I think that they left, and they just leave the birds. Wow. Well, (laughs) but you don't live that far from Kyle, right? Don't you guys live pretty close? Mm -hmm. About two minutes? Yep. (laughs) Two minutes driving? Two minutes walking? Two minutes driving. About five minutes walking? Yeah. Really close. We're (laughs) neighbors, for sure. But Kyle, what's the animal situation at your house? Well, what's interesting is there is a bird sanctuary right behind our house. It's, like, blocked off. Humans aren't allowed in. It's, like, literally blocked off with, like, barbed wire fences and stuff. So that the birds have a place to just be. And I've shared with you guys before about how my husband, like, has become this weird bird watcher because of it. (laughs) Like, we've been noticing some things lately that's been a little bizarre. So the other day I was backing in to my garage. And in the backup camera, I'm like, oh, my gosh, there's a bird in our garage. Right? And so I get out with the kids and we're like, I don't know. This bird doesn't seem right. Like, it's not scared of us, you know? So my husband came out and the kids, you know, had to give the bird a name. So we're like, oh, Chuck, we got to get you out of here, Chuck. Let's get you you know, let's get you flying away. So we kind of like walked Chuck somewhat out. He got freaked out. He flew up into the garage, hit his head, came down. All the kids were like, very scared for Chuck. Chuck flew outside, but like something was wrong with his wing. So Scott actually ended up picking Chuck up with gloves on and putting him in like a shady spot in the backyard so that Chuck could relax and eventually fly away. So we went out and checked for Chuck the next day. Chuck was gone. So we're like, Chuck got away, you guys. Chuck is safe. Well, three days later, we were out playing in the backyard, and Ethan's like, Mommy, I think I found Chuck. He's sleeping. And I'm like, (laughs) Uh okay. So I go over, and sure enough, it could be. It looked a little bit like Chuck. Chuck was not sleeping. Chuck was dead. Mm -hmm. So we had to go take care of Chuck. Well, shortly after that... We walked out into the front yard to find another bird. Could also be Chuck, not quite sure, but also dead. Okay? What? Also Chuck. (laughs) The next day, we come home. There is like, I don't even know what kind of bird it was, but it was a dead bird in our grass that had been eaten. The insides were eaten out. Just totally disgusting. Like, I mean, no more guts. It was like completely gone. So then... Also that same day, Scott found a dead lizard in his golf net and a dead lizard in the pool. So now we're going on five dead animals in our house in the last week. Did you look that up? Is that an omen of some type? Like a dead bird in your I did look it up, Richard. Thank you for asking. (laughs) And it's like, I'm like, what do dead animals surrounding you mean? And apparently it's specific to the type of animal. So I looked up birds and lizards. And it says online that it's like there's all this transformation and change. And I'm like... I don't know. I think someone's going to die in my family, and now I'm all worried about it. And oh, I'm no. like, or, calling everyone like, you all right today? Mm, okay, good. Just like, a reminder I thought, that I love you. I found a dead bird named Chuck. Are you okay? <laughs> so I don't know. It's really creepy. Well, I'm not sure if there's something in the air that we need to know about or what. Maybe it's died like, of old age. You know how they always say you never see an old, uh, I've heard this before about where, like Bigfoot. Right, you don't see Bigfoot. Why? How come you, if Bigfoot's around when they ever they die? How come you don't find a dead Bigfoot? Then someone argues, say, well, how come you don't find a dead bear that just died of old age? Maybe that's how birds die. They're in their nineties and they're flying in heart attack. Oh, well, like a, like the bird sanctuary is actually like the bird retirement. Community? Yeah, yeah, maybe it's, it's like, like Sun City. <laughs> <It's like Florida. laughs> okay, maybe I can see that. <laughs>